Hi everyone and welcome back to Living on the Tyne and I have something special for you today. So in my last video I mentioned I wasn't sure what this was while I was editing the video. I had a feeling it may have been the culvert and one of you guys commented to me that it was the culvert. So I decided to jump down into the rabbit hole and what I uncovered will blow your mind and I did not know this myself. So let's go back in time to when this culvert was made. Before 1907 this area was a steep sided valley that divided the eastern districts of Newcastle from the town centre. In 1904 Newcastle Corporation secured permission to enclose the Ooseburn in a ferro concrete culvert 700 metres in length. Work on this major engineering project began in 1907. Old industries like the Ooseburn Leadworks were demolished and then an arch of concrete reinforced with a skeleton of steel rods was built around a temporary wooden frame. Everything was then buried beneath the infamous Ooseburn tip. The landfill was supposed to support new roads and houses. The houses were never built. Up to 30 metres of household waste and coal ashes were dumped on the open ground above the culvert over a 40 year period. On hot summer days this mixture would self combust causing localised fires and lots of smoke. For some people the Ooseburn tip was a boon, local residents would scavenge for rags, metal and other valuables that they could sell or shoes and clothes that their families could wear. Times were really tough in those days. This was known locally as Scrannan on the tip and many pieces of broken china and pottery collected by a generation of children was known as booty and was used as a form of coinage. For the interesting fact, as we can see the culvert was quite large. During World War II, 1939, the culvert was converted into an air raid shelter and this involved adding a concrete platform inside over the river. So the Ooseburn continued to flow beneath the platform while light and protective blast walls, benches and bunk beds were added in the space above the concrete. Temporary accommodation for 3,000 local residents. People accessed the shelter from the steps built into the tip where you can see part of the culvert arch still standing today in the picture that we showed earlier. Now here's something really amazing. I found a picture of the entrance to this culvert and air raid shelter. Take a look.
So I hope you enjoyed this video, it was really fun making it, I made it in one day. So please hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video which will be dropping on Wednesday which will be the walk down the Jesmond Dean. And I hope you're ready for it. Thank you very much for watching, take care and have a great night.